Hey there, viewers! I don't need to tell you just how scary heart disease is, but I do feel the need to remind you about the role your diet plays in it all. Most of us just aren't watching what we're eating, whether it's that extra chocolate shake or one too many items off the value menu. Let's discuss eight foods that will give you a heart attack the fastest. Are sodas causing my heart problems? Is your precious bacon on the list? How much red meat is too much? Pizza? Now it's personal, folks. We're talking about all that and more. Number 1. Pizza We're gonna get this one out of the way. Ordering a pie from your favorite pizza spot is a Friday tradition for many families. If you're a young person living alone, pizza has likely been your lifeline at one time or another. But let's get real, pizza is loaded with fat, sodium, and calories. This is an unfriendly trio for your heart. A single slice of pepperoni is around 300 calories by itself. With that, you get 5 grams of saturated fat, almost 35 grams of carbs, and close to 700 milligrams of sodium. That's 30% of your daily sodium intake right there, in one slice. If pizza is an everyday meal for you, it serves as a one-way ticket to a heart attack. Too much will end up blocking your arteries. When enough plaque builds up, your heart has to work harder to pump blood, since it's not reaching various body parts as easy. Here's what you want to do. Opt for the thinnest crust you can get. Whole wheat is a tasty alternative. When it comes to toppings, less pepperoni and as many veggies as you can handle. You still want to keep pizza fun. What's the most pizza you've eaten in one sitting? How many slices? Sound off in the comments section and start a conversation with our bestie community. Number 2. Yogurt I don't know if we can make people angrier after the last pizza entry, but here it goes. Your favorite morning yogurt may also be giving you heart problems. Of course, I'm talking about the flavored kinds. These are the regular brands that you buy at the grocery store. Full-fat flavored yogurt is packed with added sugar. We're talking over 20 grams sometimes. The average woman should have no more than 24 grams of sugar per day, while the average male has no more than 36. Too much sugar is linked to weight gain, inflammation, and heart disease. Your blood pressure will only increase, which will up your chances of heart attack or stroke. Your best option is low-fat yogurt. Number 3. French Fries it's hard to resist french fries from your favorite fast food restaurant. I myself will get a random craving for McDonald's fries in the middle of the day. It's so annoying. When fries get a hold of you, they just don't let go. Good news for your taste buds, bad news for your heart. Take the most famous french fries on earth for example, McDonald's. One serving is 320 calories on average. In that, you have 260 milligrams of sodium, 2 grams of saturated fat, and 43 grams of carbohydrates. Now, it would be dishonest of me to tell you that this is as bad as it gets. It's not. The amount of sodium you get from this serving only counts for 11% of your suggested daily intake. Fries are just so addictive. Once you eat one serving, you want more. It's also rare for you to eat french fries on their own. You're probably eating a greasy burger with it, along with a large soda. Actually, that brings me to my next entry. Number 4. Soda if you want to fast-track heart disease, drinking endless cans of Coke is the way. While consumption seems to have dropped in recent years, the average American still has at least one sugary drink a day. A single can of soda has more added sugar in it than an expert recommends for an entire day. In one single can of Coca-Cola, you have 140 calories. Other than the carb content, those calories are pretty empty. The carbs hold almost 40 grams of sugar. Much like fries, it's hard to just have one serving of Coke. It's a feel-good drink that quenches your thirst. Once you get a taste for one, you instantly want more. If you drink three cans in a sitting, you're consuming triple your sugar intake for the day. Regular soda drinkers tend to gain weight more than people who don't drink it. This will increase your chances of heart disease. Now, diet drinks will only do so much to improve your health. They have harmful additives themselves, but that's for a whole different video. Your best bet is to cut back on sugary soft drinks as much as possible. Cutting this next drink will also help your heart. Number 5. Alcohol One of the best things you can do for your heart is cut the booze. Heavy drinking with a bad heart and high blood pressure can be the kiss of death. Speaking of empty calories, beer is full of them. A regular can averages 150. In that, you have very little nutrition, just sodium and a lot of carbs. That same can has about 12 grams of carbohydrates, no fiber, no sugar, and a gram of protein. Heavy drinking has been directly linked to heart conditions. Not just a heart attack, but a stroke as well. Have you ever heard of cardiomyopathy? This is a condition where your heart muscle is damaged. 
If you're a heavy drinker, I'm not going to tell you how hard it is to stop drinking. You might want to try and cut back if you can. Your heart will thank you in the long run. Before we continue, all this talk about heart disease is probably making you miss the gym. Check out our new video on the 9 best personal trainer apps for your phone. Now back to our discussion on 8 foods that will give you a heart attack the fastest. Number 6. Red Meat This is another one none of us can seem to get away from. Red meat is everywhere, from the burgers we scarf down with our fries to the veal we have at a fancy dinner party. But we often forget about the effects it has on our heart. Studies have found that those who eat more processed meat tend to have a higher risk of coronary heart disease. The more greasy hamburgers you eat, the more your heart is going to suffer. There's danger in eating both processed and unprocessed meat. Two servings of processed meat was linked to a 7% higher risk of heart disease. Two servings of unprocessed meat leads to a 3% increase in early death. Healthy alternatives to red meat include unprocessed chicken, turkey, and fish. Just keep that in mind. Number 7. Canned Soup now, when I think of canned goods, I usually associate them with healthy food. That's not always the case, though. While canned soup does have nutrients, there's also a heck of a lot of sodium. Take cream of chicken soup, for example. Just a single cup holds over 1,600 milligrams of sodium. That's 71% of your daily intake. Now that will damage your blood pressure. A regular diet of canned soup will only up your chances of heart attack. Just so you know, the average person is recommended no more than 2,300 milligrams of sodium per day. Creamy soups will also hold a ton of saturated fat. That same cup will have 4 grams, which is about 20% of your daily intake. The best way to eat soup is to make it from scratch. This means to cook it with low-sodium broth. Number 8. Bacon this is one of your heart's greatest enemies. More than half of bacon's calories comes from saturated fat. One thin slice is 30 calories and holds 3% of your saturated fat for the day. If you're eating five slices with breakfast, that's more than 15% before the day has even begun. As for sodium, you're getting 5% of your daily value in the same thin slice. Here's another important thing to know about bacon. It can increase your risk of bad cholesterol. This will only give you greater chances of suffering a heart attack. If you want to eat a healthier breakfast, it's best to drift away from bacon slowly. Go from four or five slices to maybe one or two. Make sure you're eating some fruits and veggies to cancel out the sodium and fats. Give your heart a break for once. Heart disease is obviously no joke. Your diet is only one part of the issue. You also need to make sure you're getting the proper exercise. Have I sparked your interest? Let's keep the conversation going with a couple more videos, shall we? Check out our recent video on 12 signs you're going to have a heart attack soon. Or how about 6 fat-burning cardio exercises you can do at home? Go ahead, click one, or better yet watch both, and learn more about how to keep your heart in healthy shape. Do you eat any of these foods on the regular? Let us know in the comments below.